Walt Disney World has over 50 attractions, hundreds of restaurants, four theme parks, and two water parks. With so much to see and do, it's essential to plan your vacation. Now, the first thing you need to do is pick a date. Decide when you want to go to Disney World. If you want to avoid bigger crowds, then avoid summer and holidays. These are peak times. Moreover, during peak times, prices for tickets and hotels are higher. The cost for your vacation will be less if you avoid going during the peak times. The cheapest time to go is the end of January and beginning of February. If you want to see how each month varies by price, I will leave a link to my blog where I break that down. Another thing to consider when you pick your date, Florida is hot and humid. If you want to avoid the high temperatures, go during the winter months. It will still be warm, just not as hot as summer. Morning and night might be a little chilly, so bring a light jacket if you do decide to go in the winter times. Budget. Once you decide on a date, you can go on the Disney's website to figure out how much tickets will be and if you're staying at a Disney resort, you can use the website to figure out how much your stay will cost. Other things you need to budget for is travel to Disney World, whether that be airfare, driving, or car rental. Also make sure to budget for food. Food in the parks is expensive. I like to use allairs.net to look at menu prices and estimate the cost of food. Also, don't forget to save extra money for souvenirs. Those can really add up, especially if you plan on building a droid or a lightsaber in Galaxy's Edge. Disney World has four ticket options. The base ticket, park hopper, water park and sports, and park hopper plus. The base or standard ticket is one park per day and you get to choose which park you want to go to on which day. Park Hopper allows you to go to a different park after 2 p.m. This is a newer rule, so it might change and go back to how it was before. The water park and sports option allows you to go to Disney's Blizzard Beach and Disney's Typhoon Lagoon water parks, plus the NBA Experience, Mini Golf, ESPN Worldwide Sports Complex, and Disney's other golf courses. Park Hopper Plus allows you to park hop and go to the water parks as well as the four theme parks. Some people really love the Park Hopper option. I prefer the standard park ticket because I have kids and I find it easier to stay in one park for an entire day. There's so much to see and do in the parks. And Disney is huge. The parks aren't right next to each other so it does take some valuable time out of the day to travel between parks. I've always used Disney's bus transportation and it takes time to walk to the bus, wait for the bus, and then travel to the next park. So for me, I'd rather just stay at one park per day. However, you have to consider your situation and decide what works best for you. You might really love the park hopper option. Make park reservations. Once you have your tickets and dates picked out, you need to make park reservations. Decide which days you want to go to which parks and make the reservation as soon as you can. Hotels. Decide where you want to stay. If you want to stay on property, Disney has several resorts to choose from and there's a tier for every budget. The, the three tiers are value, moderate, and deluxe. If you're on a tight budget, then choosing a value resort may be the best option. If you stay at a Disney resort, you have access to free transportation to each of the parks. Also, depending on where you stay depends on what type of transportation is available. Disney World has bus transportation, the Skyliner, and boats. When you stay at a Disney resort, you can also get a magic band at a discount rate. The magic band is your ticket to get into the parks, and it's the key to your room. You can also use it when you make purchases at Disney World. Your vacation can be booked 499 days in advance. Hotel and ticket prices do go up every year. Therefore, booking ahead of time helps to lock in the price. If you do book that far in advance, you can't do it through the website. You can either call or book through a Disney travel agent, which doesn't cost anything extra to you. I've used Small World Vacations and Dreams Unlimited Travel. Both were excellent to work with. Disney's Magical Express is a free transportation from the airport to the Disney resorts. However, this will be ending in January 2022. Mirrors will be continuing the service for a price. They recently released the prices. If you do use this service, you must make a reservation. Also, another thing is if you do drive or rent a car, 
there is a parking fee at the resort. If you decide not to stay on property, there are plenty of options not too far away from Disney World. Plan where to eat. Disney World has over 400 restaurants to choose from. Part of the Disney vacation experience is trying the food because there are a lot of options and a lot of good food. Disney World has two types of restaurants, quick service and table service. Quick service, or counter service, is like fast food. You order your food and pick it up at the counter and you, you seat yourself. Although now most quick service locations are highly encouraging guests to use mobile order, which is done on the My Disney Experience app. If you're trying to save money, eating at more quick service locations is one way to spend less. Table service restaurants require ADRs or advanced dining reservations. Reservations can be made 60 days in advance and can be booked online or on the My Disney Experience app. One thing to remember about eating at table service restaurants is the added cost for gratuity. Also, if you're a party of six or more, they automatically take out 18% for gratuity. Some restaurants also have characters, so you'll have to decide if you want a character dining experience. With so many restaurants to choose from, it's important to plan ahead where you will eat. I have some free printables on my website to help you plan out your restaurants. I will leave a link in the description below. Make a list. Each park has so much to do and you won't be able to do it all. So make a list of attractions that are a must. Also, if you're unfamiliar with the rides, you can watch ride videos on YouTube. That way you can figure out which ones you really want to go on. Also, if you have anyone in your party who isn't big on thrill rides, it will be important to know ahead of time which rides to avoid. Measure your kid's height. If you're going with younger kids, make sure you know their height before your trip. That way you're prepared and know which rides they can't go on before your vacation. However, if you don't do this ahead of time, each ride with a height requirement does have a place for kids to check their height. Also, Disney World has something called Rider Switch. This makes it easy for adults to ride if their kid can't. Memory Maker Before your vacation, you also need to decide if you want to purchase Memory Maker. Disney World has PhotoPass photographers throughout the parks. You can get all your photos from your entire vacation for one price. This also includes ride photos. They also have a cheaper option to buy photos for just one day. If you purchase Memory Maker in advance, it does cost less. Strollers. If you have kids young enough for strollers, you'll have to decide if you're going to bring your stroller from home or rent one. Disney World does offer single and double stroller rentals. These are only at the parks, therefore if you rent one in the parks, you have to return it before you leave. There's also a few companies in Orlando that rent strollers, such as Kingdom Strollers, Magic Strollers, and Orlando Strollers Rentals just to name a few. Also, they will deliver the strollers to your hotel, and some of these companies also have pickup locations at the Orlando airport. I hope this helps you with your vacation planning. There's so much to do before a Disney World vacation, and you will get more out of it if you plan ahead. I will leave links in the description box below that will help you plan your vacation. Feel free to drop a comment below with any questions, like and subscribe for more content.